Good day and welcome. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you're having a great day. The uh, game I'm playing today is I'm going to continue my story of Man of Medan, which is kind of a scary game, actually. It's both these. these um... Justin, thank you for liking the stream hello uh about these uh i don't know if they're teenagers but they're young young adults of some fashion they're going to explore some um legends i guess they found some uh plain runes and and of course then they got taken over by pirates and brought to a ghost ship uh, in my story last time, I killed, well, I didn't kill them, I accidentally got killed. Lynn, thank you for the follow. I got killed by, uh, one of my characters, the named Conrad, got killed by getting chased by some weird creep thing, and, uh, I made a clip of it on the YouTube of being chased by Sailor Moon because she kind of had the sailor outfit. Um, and of course, uh, that's the only death so far for me. So I've been pretty lucky, I think, you know, because you can wind up getting them all killed pretty quick in this type of game. So as far as it goes, uh, that's the adventure so far. Um, I don't know if you guys have played this game before or not, but it's it you know has some jump scares in it. I'm not really a big horror person, um, but you know it's pretty pretty cool game. Uh, anyway, continue on the adventure, and we'll play alone. You can play this with your friend. And. Oops, I put a slash in there. Oh well. What kind of horror movies do you guys like? Um, or. Uh, horror games or whatever. I like State of Decay a lot. I think that's a pretty cool series. Um. I like the original Resident Evil movie. Pretty good. I like that one a lot. But yeah, if you guys have any favorites, tell tell me what you like. What you really like. Interesting to, to find out. No. But all the all the makings of a horror movie here for this game. This ship must be cursed. It's Over the only here, way we can explain all this evil shit that's happening down there. Let's just stay calm and relatively sane about this, okay? How far back did it Wait, jump here? where's Conrad? Has anyone seen him? We got split up. Oh, no, it didn't jump. I, I saw him. I, I, I mean, Fliss and I both did, uh, right? <clears throat> I saw Conrad. I saw him fall. He fell? Where? Yeah, Is I fell. Okay? Did someone help him? I'm sorry, Julia. That's her brother. Fucking asshole. Oh, you idiot. He fell? Down some stairs on his face? What? It was a big fucking fall. Okay? Bill, what thank you for liking the stream. No. No, 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 no. Oh, it's not taking it so good. Okay, we're going back right now and we're going to find my brother. Julia. He could be dying right now. We have to. We will. No, he was done. Just not yet. What the hell is wrong with you back there? Brad, you lost your shit, like, big time. You I pushed the me. wrong button twice in a row, Come on, no, and no, Conrad was done. What the done like dinner. He was bleeding out of his head. Because, I gotta be honest, it feels like there's some, like, like, evil, like, literal evil going on down there. Let's just Con stay Conrad and relatively sane about this, okay? went to the Rainbow the Bridge. It's like there were these old soldiers. Is that what they call they it? Were bodies. They were dead, but then... They came alive. Oh, that's that, for dogs. 
doesn't sound that crazy right about now. Alex wasn't the only Well, he was getting chased by a zombie about. Sailor Moon. There were things probably walking done one way or another, right? Them. Alex's face, it Probably missed out on the achievement for having them all surviving. Julia, I've never hurt you. You know that, right? No, I know. It's just... This can't all be happening. Maybe, like, one thing could. But not all of these crazy things. It's too much of a coincidence. There's got to be something going on here. What can we absolutely be sure about? What do we know that's real? Dang, it's fake. Am I crazy or are we on a ghost ship? They're on a ghost ship. say the same thing. Well, I know we're not the first people to see weird shit here. Apparently the guards were super freaked out by something they saw in the cargo holds. What happened to everybody on this ship? Where did they all go? This all feels more like a mausoleum than a ship. So where did all the corpses come from? They actually look like they've been scared to death. Where's the gold? Did you see Saw the gold, gold though? Anything? Manchurian gold isn't actually gold. It's a fucking chemical and it's leaking all over cargo hold too. Yeah. Pauline, sure exactly thank you for liking the stream. Are expecting neither. This should go over well. This is weird. Is of weird. Dirty, stinky, weird. Dirty, stinky, weird. I don't like it. It's like this place is stuck in a perpetual bad feeling machine. We know more than we did before. Way to describe it. That's something at least. We're wasting time. Whatever we do, we have to do it now. Time to get off this ship. We're not going anywhere without the distributor cap. The Duke needs it to run. Hold on. This ship's gotta have a radio. If we can find it and use it. That's great, but do you think it's the still Coast Guard works? in and then they'll get Just killed by the zombies too, eh? Big old guns that thing has. We're on the move again. We gotta get off this damn ship. No shit. I think we're, uh, speaking clinically, totally effed. It's over here glowing. Like cigars? Oh, it sounds crazy, but maybe it was these guns that took down the plane from. Oh, that was a shell. Cigars, big bullet shells. I mean, you know, I was close. Go over here and just check. Just... Always got to go the wrong way in a video game. Where I was, the room. Look like that goes anywhere. You know what you guys should do? You should all stick together. A big group like the Scooby, Scooby Doo gang, and then you unmask the uh, bad guy. Anyone see that new Scooby Doo movie? Axman was telling me that was pretty good. Maybe it was another movie he was talking about. Got a boat full of holes. Right. Could use these if they weren't Swiss cheese. Well, you know, you could patch it up with some epoxy or something. I think I'd patch it up somehow and then still take off in the boat. Safe with being on this, this ship.
found a way up? Sadly, no, but I'll keep my eyes open. And the flashlight that you, if you don't find that. The boat underneath that tarp. Not a boat. Is that a boat, Colleen? How's your day, anyway? Oh, that's freaky, eh? Well, we got some gas mask instructions. Do not panic. Remain calmly and clearly shout gas, gas, gas. Warn anyone in the vicinity. Attach gas mask carrier by placing the bag under your left arm. Pull the shoulder thing over your right shoulder. Hook it onto the bag. Move your helmet. Pull the mask up to your face with both hands. Pin in the mask first and pull the mask over and remove any potentially trapped gas. Close the outlet valve and breathe out sharply, then push the remaining air out of the mask with your hands. See, now we know how to do that. Bolting, eh? Pretty cool. The mask does not crumple, there may be a leak. See, this is this is pretty handy information because you know this is PPE course right here you know instructions a lot of people don't put their their masks on properly although it's not full gas mask there's a lot of similar instructions I took a PPE course there so that I could actually work at work A glow above the door there. What's your quilt? Is it any, hey, any a little help over certain here. things on it, or like just a normal pattern, or what? I think this is our way up. Give me a lift. you up teamwork eh? get the play lift you up all right we're up you know what they should do is they should make a final destination in the video game it was pretty awesome. Blocks of triangles, like different colors, or like uh, all one color, or what? Or did I guess it'd have to be two colors at least? Take a long time to make. Well. Very safe, does it? Blue. That's my guess. There's variant blues. Why don't I play a real real man game like Fortnite? Well, I just figured I'd give this one a try to be honest, but um I bought this one ages ago. And they have a sequel coming out soon. Or not a sequel, but um another version of it. But Oh, Fortnite would be called a real man game. Standards. I would think that a lot of people might say COD or something. Oh, Fortnite's a cool game and all. I actually don't play a lot of Battle Royale, though. This is where I chased Conrad before. Although Fortnite's pretty cool in the aspect that uh, you got Deadpool in there. I like that. 
you have a certain character you like to six different colors in a block it's yellows and greens oh i wasn't right with my guess i thought it'd be variants of blue i'm not opposed to fortnite though a lot of people have a lot of fun with it over here Although this game is like M-rated. Crap, push down button. Davinga. Or Davimba. Davima, thank you for the follow. I failed, crap. Fuck me. Let me see what I can do. <clears throat> oh look at that guy's like totally strong, eh? Just because I always screw up when it comes to pushing the button fast. Like, close the door behind you and it's like a big heavy door. You'll have to put a picture of it when you're done. The Discord. See how your handiwork turned out. What size is it? Like queen or king or what? Check out the logbook. Like lots of smudges to me. That's a ring. That way. That's it. Right? Also with We're not opening that. Mind you, this guy's strong. You might have to get there, dude. Open it for him. That door, because I couldn't press X fast enough. The dead dude there. Wasn't. If I was in this situation, I'd be kind of grossed out by all the bodies. Picture. Picture. Well, that doesn't look pleasant. Is that just to where I came in? They're not leaving. There's a radio. There's no power. I have a hard time radioing. You don't have enough space to do a queen. Oh. Just keep you guys are wondering, this guy that I'm controlling right now? That's his girlfriend, and her brother died. I, because I didn't push the button fast enough. And it's fatal. This one here is the ship captain. Girl there. And the other dude that was strong is this guy's brother. Something's wrong here. If you were headed to San Francisco, you'd be crazy to take this route. It's almost like they didn't want anyone to know they were coming. Like hide and seek out in the well, they're ocean. They're an army boat. Of course they didn't want no one coming. 
So it is kind of weird route, isn't it? This paper will explain everything. Marcel! Hey! For liking the stream. Thank you very much. Merci. See me scared as crap in this game, or I already jumped twice. And the yellow. Hit me looking for. I accidentally got one guy killed earlier. It was sad. Not today though, but if you want to see it in my My YouTube videos is actually uh, quite viewed there recently. Um, it might be on Game Pass. I'm not 100% sure. I bought it ages ago. But, I mean, it'd be worth looking to see if it's on Game Pass. Because there is a sequel coming out. And then often when there... Or not a sequel. Another game from this company. So often when that happens, they... They put out the, um... Put out a game for the Game Pass as a promotional. It's like a horror game. You know those games that you always hear about on the PlayStation that are like Heavy Rain and Beyond Human? Kind of like that. There's some horror element to this one. Something on the table here. Yeah, that's gross. Looks like this poor sucker bit it right in the middle of his message. Hey. Mayday call broadcast radio contact intermittent attempted Morse SOS mini crew dead. There well I mean it's I don't know. If if it was a movie, I don't think it well maybe it could be a horror movie, but it, I think it's kinda like Take a look. I know, like, a cross between an action and a horror. Actually still works? Look, radio science hasn't changed much in 70 years. As long as but what happened is these guys got the kind of kidnapped by pirates, and then the pirates were looking for some gold, and then they uh, brought these guys to the ghost ship that they found. Oh, it's working! Take this nowhere in a project bearded you in. Military bandit. Let's have some for help. Hey! Hey! Is anyone out there hearing this? Hello? They're trying to get rescued. That's it for the radio. Can't hey, live without my radio. Well, I'm not a big horror person myself, but I mean, I don't know. This has got this to is, lead somewhere. There's a. Maybe we can find there's not too much. There's back. more. The bad guys the are more these pirates. I think someone should wait here in case a message comes through. Although he was getting chased by a weird Sweet. sailor moon. I can do this. I should be the one to go. Hey, little bro. What's up? I'm thinking you might deserve a promotion. How's medium bro sound? <laughs> what are you, what are you talking about? Calling him a medium bro. Plate. Put yourself right in the line of fire. You're kind of mixing metaphors there. Not if the picture's a machine gun. 
I'm impressed. Seriously. Buggy's bro fisting him. So what do you think? Bro fist you guys, see? Hey. If you're sure you're up for it, I believe you got him, bro. I'm coming too. Hey, what? Julie, no. Not my bodyguard. I can take care of myself. Whoa, whoa. If Julia says she can handle it, she can handle it. Case closed. Okay, Julia. It's you and I. Right. Oh, crap. Tony, thank you for liking the stream. Do you have a movie that you ever watch the horror movies there marcel that you got into though i like the first resident evil movie they're not going back up any broken bones everything still work everyone okay we're okay what are we gonna do we gotta find out where we are We'll wait here by the radio. I mean, you're one level down from up there. Here. The crap was that? Matches? Light that matches. Probably gas in the air or some crap. Hey. Listen to me. After you. Going back this way. Well, you were on the upper level. Makes sense. Thick bay. Great, hey? Got his plaid pants to protect him. Plaid shorts. Equal big bomb. Paper says. See, half this is just looking at papers, Colleen. Really? Except for when they have a little jump scare? Something in cargo hold 3A, apparently. There was somebody in the brig for it. There's a toilet. None of these characters ever have to go to the bathroom, eh? There already. And over here. A couple things. Had a drunken argument. If that was the beginning opening scene. Never heard of Big Bomb, uh, Colleen. Oh, got uh, minutes. Chemical and biological agents of warfare. So it's not really a ghost story, I don't think. It's they got into big boom. Oh, okay. And bomb, I don't know. Heard of the big boom either. Um I think what happened here was they went crazy because of nerve gas or some weird crap. Test the girl who couldn't wait 
to die of a wreck. Shut up. Getting along good now. Matches and gas. Oh, oh, okay. I thought you were talking about like a horror movie that you watched. <laughs> they're going in a circle? No, they're first aid station. Here. Look at this picture. Hmm. I've been the son of somebody on board. Well, no crap. Oh, the pirates are definitely the bad guys here. John Patterson. Yeah, they're messing around with chemicals on people, I think, eh? Oh, Jesus. Guy's dead as a doornail. Because they're wearing shoes in a rusty old ship. Crap, eh? Nora, thank you for the follow. Good day to you. So let's get out of get out of here. Oh, oh, around the corner there is that the girl? Wandering ahead. Over here. Very safe. Chloe. Here, come check this out. Look, down there. Found the distributor cap again, it's or what? Good place to find the generator, right? <laughs> the ladder's broken off here. I think I can just wait. Are you that would okay? hurt. Bare yeah, feet. Uh, all good. Just come down. Hang down and then kind of drop a little bit easier. Guess they're not. They're not like. Oh jeez. Oh, What's up? That it, it, it was. <laughs> it was. Wait, wait, did you see it? Um. Hello. Okay, so I so I'm seeing things, but. You're not. That made me jump. Okay, so follow my thinking here. We know this ship was carrying Manchurian gold, which was actually some kind of dangerous chemical, right? And there's this like weird fog everywhere, all over the place. Maybe that's the Manchurian gold, and maybe it's fucking us all up, like in the head, you know? I mean, I, well, I was thinking saw some crazy shit that I could have sworn was real, but maybe it wasn't. We know the crew were scared shitless of something. None of it happened. <laughs> Jay, thank you for liking the stream. This couldn't have anything to do with the plane wreck we dived. We know the plane was here, and that they shot at it. Could have been a result of the psychosis. Oh, God. All right, let's get going. John, thank you for liking the stream. Missed me jump, if, unless you were here for that, but that a big jump. I was kind of thinking there was the gas related thing though. Engine works. Old engine. That rail's there, so we. Yeah. Dry clothes would be good too, you know. I 
Sounds like the ship's running, eh? Beacon all over. Hey, hey, I found it is kind of running, eh? Something like and it's working. Yeah, been running right. 70 years. Just throw the switch and let's get back upstairs. Okay, let's Some get back upstairs. Fuse. There's got to be another way up. <laughs> we lost power, but we have it back. Can you hear me? Over. Please state your situation. Over. We need help now. There are things on the ship that are trying to hurt us. Over. How is he supposed to know his coordinates? Is 12 degrees, 30 minutes south. 151 degrees, 20 minutes west. Please get here now. We need help. Recovery mission is on route to your location. Over. Location is confirmed. Oh, well, at least he got the coordinates out. Gosh, yeah, he's really swinging that, uh, Lantern around, eh? Gotta go this way. Look at this. We hear. No, we should probably take it. Half the ship is submerged. Could be a lifesaver. Pretty strong, anyway. No. Oh, she found her, bro. It'd be pretty devastating. Boss of the pirates, there's Hanger getting one of his pirate buddies, I guess. I would stay away from that dude. Where's their distributor cap? Gas is getting to him. Oh, crap. They're gonna go crazy if they go into the gas room, though. I gotta read this paper. Go and give me a for that one, I guess. Oh, 
chance to look at one thing, I'd rather be paper. the distributor cap dude you should have took that there's no use hiding you little fuck what's the problem with sharing all that gold eh? there must be plenty of that to go around more than enough and we're all in this together right you moron, Manchurian gold is chemical. Oh. Um. Say so we don't fall down something. Thursday night. Don't seem very safe. Uh oh. Okay. None of you move. None of you go on changing on me now. Turn around. Slow. Real slow. Okay. Good, good. Get out of one pickle and right into another, eh? I have to hit a premonition. This guy getting shot in the head, too. I said, no changing. Just put the gun down. Nobody has to get hurt. You think I wanted to hurt anybody? I didn't get a choice in this, did I? It's in you, too, isn't it? Isn't it now? Ha! Not again! It's all gone changing on me! What? What's changing? Stay away! Stay back from the mist! What? There's no mist, man! Don't breathe it! Don't breathe the mist! Hear that? Why can't we breathe the mist? What does it do? It's life! Bringing things to life that shouldn't be alive! It's inside now! Inside with us now. Please just calm down. Stop. Stop. It's in one of us, isn't it? Put the gun down now. Why would you say that? Why are you telling me what to do? Yeah, you breathe in the mist. <laughs> it's happening. I can feel Crap, it. Eh? was, you know, something back there, uh, maybe a mist or a fog, maybe? I knew it. I told you. Did you breathe it in? Hmm. 
No, look! We held our breath. I, we did not breathe any of that stuff. <laughs> oh, really? I know you're all fancy divers, but you expect me to buy that? Well, we are fancy divers. For hours. You've been holding your breath this whole time. You're holding your breath right now. Oh, good. It's in me. I got the least in me, don't I? It's in me, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, the mist is probably in you. There's lots right behind you. It's changing me. On the inside. No, no, I, 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 I can't see it. You're all right, man. There's no mist. Stop! Stop lying! You can all see it in me, can't you? You're all just lying. And the mist is inside. He is done. Oh. At least it wasn't the guy in the premonition that got shot, because I think it was that guy. Now they got a gun, at least. A bullets. That's another story. Now you should at least hold the gun. Then they'd think you have one. Probably the other result would have been that dude getting shot by the... We met the radio. Why? I'm going to check the next level. There might be some more gear down there we can use. Uh... I'm not going far. Just wait by the radio. They should just go wait outside on the deck. Leave the other one alone as you go in pairs at least. Oh. This isn't like perfectly even, you know. Never have you played a game over and over? <laughs> Wood, come here. Oh, it's because it was broken? Been pretty good, seems to me. I saw the, the, the big guy. He had the distributor cap. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of things were wrong with it? Just wouldn't let you continue or something? I thought you were going to say, uh, I liked it so much or something. And this captain here that after these guys are just hammered. I'd be going towards them. This must have been what we just heard. Oh no, what's that? Sounds like matter. something banging. We need that distributor cap. Here. He had to have come this way. Broken areas, bugs, multiplayer problems. Oh, really? Oh. Well, I guess it's good that I waited then. I bought this when it came out, actually. around to it until now last week I played the first little bit another stream I had and then hey dude you're crazy you should throw that distributor cap at me Getting a 
crazy with the gap. Oh crap. That was the area where I got the other guy killed. I guess once you got through all the bugs, though, hopefully you enjoyed it. All this gas around, man. That dude's done. I'm not gonna make this jump, Alex. I'll have to find another way around. To repair the floor. I had a ga gas time. Well, there's not too many pirates left now, I don't think. Grab, look behind him. Definitely wasn't the worth the amount you paid for it. Going the right way. I really liked Heavy Rain and those games though on the PlayStation, so kind of dig this style of game. Got a shiny thing. Another note. I liked uh, Until Dawn. Until Dawn was in in uh, with that Ram Rami Malek too. Is based in Canada. Oh, nasty. Fuck. <laughs> Didn't take them long, eh? They're big and Here's rabies if you're not careful. Crap. Oh no! Oh, I missed one. Plus, you got rabies out of that. Get out of there, dude. Got that sledgehammer. Oh, jeez. Weird two-headed. Uh-oh, something weird is going on. Oh, that was gross. I'll probably scare that thing away. Rod the leg, thank you for liking the stream. Crap, dude. I just murdered his friend or something. Oh. 
some rat just burst out of my chest. Oh, he did murder his friend, too. Oh, crap. Did he bust the distributor cap? Best B. <laughs> Sad, my friend. Guess he could have did no action and then that would have been okay. Roland, thank you for liking the stream. Is he gonna tell on himself? Man. Duke of Milan ain't going anywhere. Guess that means we aren't either. Best I can figure it. We had a couple days. Maybe more if we can collect some rainwater. Never in a million years would I have guessed that starving to death is how I'd go. They could probably just wait it out in the deck the whole time and... He was an asshole. He was. Honey meant well. No matter what moronic thing he was up to, he always meant well. He's just a big old puppy dog. Trying to make everyone laugh. <laughs> Talking about your brother. Probably go get some canned food, but then they probably get all weird again. Oh, I guess that's it. The narrator. That's it. Game over. You're done. For now, at least. You could always try again. See if you can't do better next time around. Oh, I do better. Not a bad effort. Some lived, some died. All your fault. And the distributor cap? Boom. Unfortunate. There's somebody coming anyway. They it's the all about decisions, isn't it? Decisions made in a hurry, in a panic, made with the heart instead of the head, or vice versa. Sometimes those decisions take a long time to have repercussions. But there are repercussions. There are always repercussions. Till we meet again. Maybe in Little Hope. Maybe somewhere else. But be certain, we will meet again. It's inevitable.
Won't you spare me over till another year? Won't you spare me over Well, I don't know. Won't you spare me over till another year? I was a lot shorter. The second part was a lot shorter than I thought it would be. But, you know, we could try and see if we can make them all live again. Yes. Gonna use the in that day. That I can't see with ice cold hands taking hold of me. Will lie and dead men can excel. I open the door to heaven or hell. Everybody's looking, trying to find a way out. See them seeing every day what this world's all about. You're realizing that it's hard. You're trying to pick the right I think that if you would have clicked on him, his chest where the rat was coming out, it would have killed him. I think the other part would have been to not do anything, maybe. I guess like a game like this, though, is going to be relatively short, though. Because you know, it's like it's basically a little movie, right? So it's like, um, one of those things, I guess. Hey, we hit 2,000 followers, eh? I didn't even realize it. Thank you so much, everybody. Thank you for the following. I don't know when we hit it. Sometime. Sometime recently, I guess. If this music matches the uh, game, though. It's cold outside, death look me in my eyes. Cold through these plans, man, we gotta be wise. Cold through together, cause then they will rise. I'm saying I'll let the credits roll and then we'll try some of the earlier parts or see if we could jump to any parts or see what, what our options are. There's always lots of people involved in these they spend years of their lives making these things you know gotta give them credit eh what would you how many stars would you give this game there colleen take a moment to reflect on think of all the things in your life that you slept on or slip through your fingers like teflon that's it is fitting think about the next dawn saying that the next dawn you make things better but you didn't get a chance to make your reparations better make some preparations but if you're not ready yet death comes for all of us my friends so you better get this is a thematic the song but i'm not sure if this is the song i would have chose It's always amazing how many people are involved in these things, eh? See if we have a thing at the end or not. It's not really a scary game. No, I mean, there's action games that have more jump scares than this did. This is more like a private investigator game. You know? In many ways, it was more, more just uh, finding out what was going on than it. Hey, hey, what is that? Helicopter. Hey, hey. Got a visual. Several civilians on board. Target confirmed as the Orang Medan. We found her, boys. This mission is certified level three classified. You know what that means. No witnesses? Is 
guess I was right. No sequel with them in it. Guess I shouldn't have chose the military one. Where's our achievement for finishing it? Oh. Come on, achievement. There's an achievement. I just saw someone in the woods. Whoever it was, they're gone. Bad, eh? Another achievement. Not a soul survivor. What the crap game is this preview for, eh? Welcome to Little Hope. Oh, maybe that's the next one coming out. They are, there's another game coming out right away. I wonder if that's the one. So I guess apparently I failed really bad because they just killed everybody. <laughs> Special features. My book collection. Oh, we got a movie. Anthology is much loved I guess it's considered horror. Pedigree across all forms they call it horror. From twice told tales by Nathaniel Hawthorne in 1837 to Clive Barker's books of blood in the mid 80s and with the likes of Blackwood, Poe, and Lovecraft in between, short story horror writing has long been a popular format. Largely regarded as the first published horror anthology, Twice Told Tales is a collection of mostly previously published stories from The Token, an annual illustrated gift book published in Boston. The author of Twice Told Tales, Nathaniel Hawthorne, was born on July the 4th, 1804, in Salem, Massachusetts. His great-great-grandfather was John Haythorne, a Puritan, and one of the judges who presided at the Salem Witch Trials of 1692. In 1842, Edgar Allan Poe reviewed Twice Told Tales for Graham's magazine, concluding that Hawthorne was a man of indisputable genius. By this time, Poe, also from the state of Massachusetts, had already written his own collection of short stories. Did you ever read any horror books, Colleen? His collection, titled Tales of the Grotesque and Arabesque, was published in two volumes in 1839. Stay away from the books and, and the movies. A recognized format. And after also writing many short stories for newspapers and magazines, Algernon Blackwood's first publication, The Empty House... I never got into any horror books either. ...released in 1906. Blackwood went on to write such classics as The Willows and The Wendigo, which was first published in another anthology... Heck no! Lost Valley and other stories... Wendigo is, uh... Fast the legend... Years to and the first publication ...that, uh, the game... Blood. Each book Until Dawn is based on stories written by British uh, out of Edmonton, actually. The first of which or near Edmonton, Edmonton north of Edmonton. Status in horror writing, with Stephen King proclaiming him the future of horror. Several of the stories from Books of Blood have been adapted successfully for film, including Rawhead Rex and The Midnight Meat Train. Never heard of those ones. Barker adapted The Yattering Jack in 1986 for use in George A. Romero's anthology TV series, Tales from the Dark Side. I guys, did. the guys heard the saying, Get, grab a brain. Short form storytelling arrived on a new medium in 1938 when the radio show, The Mercury Theatre on Air, broadcast an adaptation of Dracula. I have never seen Count Dracula by day. At sunrise, at the first cock crow, he is gone. The series was the creation of Orson Welles and John Houseman, and became most famous for its broadcast of War of the Worlds, which terrified listeners, believing that the alien invasion 
was a reality. Yeah, they're pretty worried about that back in, in that day. In 1942, the radio drama series Suspense broadcast more than 90 short plays on CBS radio for 20 years, often featuring some of Hollywood's leading stars. Initially, the series yeah, young John Crawford was there. That would be classified as horror, fantasy, or science ball, fiction. But by the late 50s, this became a regular occurrence, including material such as H.P. Lovecraft's The Dunwich Horror. One episode, The Hitchhiker, broadcast in 1942, featured a performance by Orson Welles and was later adapted for an episode of The Twilight Zone in 1960. Although I did like The Twilight Zone. 1947 saw the debut of Quiet Please, a radio horror and fantasy series created by Willis Cooper. Cooper had been a writer for Orson Welles' Campbell Playhouse, which had succeeded the Mercury Theatre on air. Which is written and directed by Willis Cooper and features Ernest Chappell. Quiet Please for tonight is called Camera Obscura. The play's scripts often broke the fourth wall by speaking directly to the listener, a technique much adopted in later horror anthologies. Fourth wall. In his book, Terror on the Air, Horror Radio in America, Richard J. Hand wrote that Cooper had enjoyed creating roles for the audience, including implicating them in the action of the story itself, indicating a clear desire to create horror as interactive entertainment more than 70 years ago. The show ran for two years. Forward 50 more years in radio, and in October 2010, we see the debut of Larry Fessenden and Glenn McQuaid's radio show, Tales from Beyond the Pale. I've never heard of that one. Successful genre filmmakers in their respective rights, the two began producing episodes under Fessenden's studio, Blaster. Glass Eye Picks, influenced by the works of Boris Karloff, Peter Lorre, and Orson Welles. Fessenden would later partner with the show's sound designer, Graham Resnick, to write the scripts for Supermassive Games' critically acclaimed horror debut, Until Dawn. And for the first game, oh, I didn't realize they were the same crew as Until Dawn. Man of Interesting. In film and TV, short format horror has been successfully represented many times since The Twilight Zone in 1959. Twilight Zone, yeah. Created awesome and show. presented by Rod They redid the, the Twilight, Twilight Zone, or they put a new seasons version of it. On CBS from 1959 to 1964. Each show was a standalone story featuring characters faced by surreal and often disturbing events. Serling's introductions and conclusions to each show summarized the story and provided some justification for the events and, often, the moral of the story. In 2016, Rolling Stone placed The Twilight Zone at number seven in its list of the greatest shows of all. It was a good show, I have to say. The his history lesson, yeah. Film, Tales from the Crypt, is highly regarded by fans of the genre. I remember Tales from the Crypt too. Peter Cushing and Joan Collins, and featuring Ralph Richardson as the Crypt Keeper. It is an anthology film based on stories from EC Comics. And one of several amicus horror anthologies. I think that was the one where the guy and in touched a meteorite. HBO launched a horror anthology series. And then he had this stuff name, growing on him. Also based on EC Comics. That one freaked me out. July 1996. 1982 saw the release of Creepshow, a dark. There, that's the one right there. That's Stephen King. By George A. Romero. Influenced by and a homage to the material from the EC and DC comics of the 1950s, its entirely original material was written by Stephen King, and it is a somewhat tongue-in-cheek expression of the horror genre. 25 years on, and in 2007, Trick or Treat presents another set of horror shorts as a dark comedy horror anthology film. And then, in 2012, a very different anthology film with a very different tone, VHS. Created by Brad Miska and Bloody Disgusting, an American horror genre website and film production company, VHS is a much darker horror anthology film. Comprising six short horror stories and linked by a found footage theme, two of the stories, Second Honeymoon and Tuesday the 17th, were written and directed I'm by familiar with those ones. and Glenn McQuaid. 
Other examples in film and TV that are more than worthy of mention are Roger Corman's 1962 anthology, Tales of Terror, based on three Edgar Allan Poe short stories and featuring Peter Lorre, Vincent Price, and Basil Rathbone. Big names, though. 1963 Italian horror anthology, Black Sabbath, narrated by Boris Karloff. The TV series Night Gallery, a spiritual successor to, or certainly a close relative of, The Twilight Zone, fronted again by Rod Serling and focusing more directly on horror, which ran from 1969 to 1973. Stephen King's Cat's Eye of 1985. John Carpenter's 1993 film Body Bags, featuring I'm not Mike familiar with a lot of these, actually. Wes Craven and Mark Hamill. Hey, look, it's Luke! Southbound. 2016 road trip horror anthology by a number of the collaborators on VHS. From written fiction through radio, cinema, and TV, and now video games, horror anthology is a format that both creators and horror fans enjoy. And it's a format that has existed for almost 200 years. Long may it continue. Go away. That was just all of that was in that one book. We gotta get 50 secrets to unlock those movies. This is. Hey, watching the up, DVD man? features, eh? Good to finally meet you, Conrad. This is Brad, by the way. My little bro. Hey, man. Wanna crack a colon with me? From the Man of Medan, I play a character named Conrad. Looks just like him, eh? And I think initially when we find Conrad, he is a sort of entitled guy, uh, a wealthy American who's on vacation. But where's the old crust bucket skipper, anyhow? He's an adventurous guy. He lives off the cuff. He does what he wants. I'd invite you to make yourselves at home, but, uh... And I think that's kind of fun to play as an actor. He has no sensor, he's no filter. So whatever circumstance he's put into, you know exactly how Conrad feels. And so it was kind of fun performance to start out being brash, kind of a silly guy, and just jump in and have fun with that. So is everybody on board and ready to go? Uh, you're selling, I'm buying. Oh. I think Conrad and I have some similarities. I think the sense of humor and a sense of fun are similar between Conrad and I, but I will say that he's a little more aggressive and a little more outlandish than I am. Guys, look, I think we gotta listen to our experienced, beautiful, smart, and beautiful captain here. If she says we should do things Connie, the right- please, I didn't bring you on this trip to get laid. Wait, what? I think Conrad's <laughs> the kind of guy that I would like to be at a party with. You know, I'd like to have a barbecue and drink some beers with him. I don't know that Conrad and I would be best friends. I think we'd butt heads a little bit. Right on, Radical. I like the cut of your ship. It's jib. Don't ruin it. I think the scenes that I've had the most fun with so far are basically when Conrad is going absolutely crazy. I don't want to give too much away, but there's a scene where these, these sort of fishermen interact with our divers, with our core crew here. And he's just a bit of an asshole. Hey, we got damage here, you see this? We can take care of this, man. It's not a problem. I mean, what do you think? Like, 10 bucks cover it? Oh, whoops, my bad. Let's make it 20. Okay, okay. Hold on. So that's it. kind of that guy's well, fault. Well, shoot, you, you think no it's problem. more like 30? I can do 30. All right. You drive a hard bargain, but I'm with you. Here, you know what? Let's just throw in the whole pot. That's yours. You go ahead. Let's go. No! He's just got an attitude. He's brash. These people are messing with his group, and he just kind of lets loose and talks trash to him. And as a guy who would never do that in real life, it's uh, a lot of fun to just kind of. I let think it'd Conrad be not flow, good to do that in real life because you you're on in international an waters. They left, didn't they? That doesn't make you any less of an idiot. You know, the only thing funnier than seeing you try to buy your way out of that situation is watching you put your money to waste. Got a smile out of you. Worth every penny. I got. One of the most interesting and one of the key moments that sticks out for me is Conrad's decision in the first act of the game either to stay with the group or potentially just take off. Storm's eight miles away. They came here on a boat. Maybe we can take it. Yeah. Yeah, it's a speedboat. I 
can get out through the window. We gotta break these off first. It's too loud. They'll hear it. But we'll break them during the thunder. Catherine, thank you for the Good follow. Call. Good day to you. Don't leave us here, okay? And this is kind of again, like a what's interesting, depending on DVD how feature the of the game I was just playing. The story, Conrad can become Man a coward, of and desert his friends and his family, or become a hero and stay. These fuckers need to pay. So that, to me, is very, very interesting. Two very human choices, and depending on how our player decides to live with these characters, can totally change the outcome of the game. So I think that I enjoy when Conrad makes the heroic choice and gets to stick around. He obviously gets to see more of the adventure, but it's just as possible that he tries to save his own life and takes off. Ooh, wow, that was intense. <laughs> That's one way to put it. You got a better way to put it? All the characters do have very strong personalities and drives. Leap, leap, leap! I think Conrad is the instigator. Good news, bad news, bad news. That'd be weird acting with all that crap on your he face. He is the one that really starts <laughs> the confrontation with the fishermen. These are kind of maybe the fishermen I pissed off earlier. Oh god damn it, Conrad. Great, just great. And the good news. So I think in a lot of ways, Conrad is there to stir the pot and create drama. Uh, I recognize them. How was that good news? I thought you were gonna ask the good news first. You're such an idiot, Jesus. Do I prefer playing the good guy or the bad guy? I think that there's there's fun in both. To be honest, I don't get to play the bad guy as much as I get to play the good guy, so I think I relish those moments where I get to play the darker side of things. But I think every good hero has that balance, has that dark side. I think a good guy who only is doing good things is kind of boring. You just had to piss them off, didn't you? So I think that there's elements of both sides in both characters. And the best villains are the villains that don't think they're doing anything wrong. Their motivation is not like, oh, I'm a mustache twirling bad guy. It's like, no, they're doing what's right for them. It just happens to be against what most people think is the right thing to do. If I can't shoot them as payback, at least I could give them a nice jab with a sharp knife. Because I'd had some experience working with motion capture and games before, this experience was much easier for me coming right in. I didn't feel like I was jumping into the deep end. What I really like is that all the actors are constantly there all the time. There's the ability to work off each other without the pressure of specific lighting and marks. There's a freedom to that that I really, really enjoy. It's been really good. It's been very kind of a free well, and she had pink as socks. far as like motion capture performance. Crazy pink socks. You got a funny way of saying thank you, Conrad. You're a piece of work, Conrad. I'm not all work. I'm a little play, too. Hashtag wink. Those books are very interactive books. Creating the curator. Let's find a boring old dude to Hello. talk. I am the curator. Curator of stories. Chrissy, thank you for the stories follow. Good day to you. Greed and beauty, life and death. Stories such as this one. The curator of the Dark Pictures Anthology bridges between the player and the story I'm being that guy didn't look very like aware of what they've done but him. also much more aware than the player about what's actually going on in the story and what the context is and what the scenario is what do you think happened to this guy now for the first time for some reason that he himself doesn't even understand he's been given the opportunity to talk to somebody and that somebody is the player as far as he knows it's always been him that's done this job and nobody else and within his library is the need story a big of everybody's life and death there's even rooms in there that he for can't the curator remember going in but he's way too busy to go and explore because there's always another end of life to record and document clothes are so important because they provide an insight into the character they explain where the character's been they describe where he's going they suggest motive we want the audience to perceive him as having everything completely in control. So all of the ideas of his clothes being tailored to his body, it's really important to us. We worked with a costume designer. He did a lot of research into the authenticity of the materials and textures. I don't know. He provided I think us they could have left the curator high resolution reference. out of it. He even gave us material swatches. It was really useful for us because looking at the folds, looking at the visual language of cloth, how do they sit on the character? Is it working from a distance? What's the weight of the material? 
it gave us a really good platform in order to produce high quality realistic materials. Beginning in that depth. I'm here to record the story you choose to tell. I think Jordan, that thank you for liking the stream. Human acting performance and facial expressions, that part of it is so key to transferring the emotion that you want to over to the player. Just the definition in detail that you I don't know, the curator reminded me of that boring the, uh, guy in the Rocky Horror Picture Show. Everybody yells cameras, out boring. It's quite interesting as well because we've talked a little bit before about how we use skewed angles, up shots, totally tilts, and all that kind of thing to create this feeling of unease and anxiety in the horror moments. And for the curator, it was quite the opposite, actually. He's very much in control and he knows everything about the game you're playing and he's very much at home in his own environment. So we took the approach to have a lot more flattering shots, a lot more level shots. You look at him at a natural height. You're never like below or above him and it creates this veneer of control. It's almost like it's very straightforward and he's just delivering you these statements. You see, we each make decisions according to our own moral compass. Mm -hmm. And they have little... British. As soon as we'd established that and who he Getting was and what his personality head. was, our minds went pretty much straight to Pip Torrens to deliver the performance. And Pip's done a brilliant job of bringing everything that we wanted in the curator to life on the screen. And pretty much everything that we shot was nailed on first take by Pip. But the truth of this story isn't Is fixed. Pip? Far from it. A story can change a great deal when told from a different perspective. Hey, dude, One Pip. thing that was really important for us with the art direction was to somehow differentiate him from the rest of the game that you're experiencing. And with that, we could make a really interesting contrast because as the player, you might be experiencing all this horror, all this craziness, and all of a sudden you're taken out to quite a different and quite an unusual place. So that was a really fun thing to play with. We tried to play up on that contast and really signal to the player that there was a change happening. It was the pretty smooth though, compared to uh, what Gabrielle was ambiguous. saying earlier. Quite mysterious. You're really Apparently sure it was quite buggy when it first came sometimes. out. And I wanted that to kind I of be I didn't have any problems at all with any... The corridor that he is in at the start of the game and where you see him problem. all the times. We wanted to get Granted, this multiplayer of often has problems though. It's got this maze-like feel. It's not a set out space that you automatically understand as a viewer when you see it. You're not sure how long it goes on, I think how the many paths game there are, I played how much was, fun uh, this corridor is. Gears of so War. to light that, we wanted to get this feel for Gears of War when, not when it came out, it was pretty bad. You right didn't try to finish an area. Before. Just to Something wouldn't spawn and then you can't not being fully the area, aware of your so you're looking around, looking the around. Mystery of the scene. And then he goes into his repository, which is a huge vault of books and secrets with his main desk right in the middle. He's got large windows for light, a skylight above that would also it let a lot like of light in. put a lot of work into this dude. And there's an floor, a marble fireplace, classical, opulent, sophisticated. The central feature of the repository is the curator's desk. So we researched how that might look and wanted to make it look a big, substantial piece of furniture. We added a lot of scroll work and detail to the front and rear. All of the things that you'd expect, the brass fittings for the drawers. There's quite a lot of detail went into that and we thought we might be seeing that quite close as well in game. So in the end, it fits nicely within its environment. It references some of the Victorian era detail that you might see on a piece like that. The creator has the ability to access stories through the pictures on the wall. They're almost portaled through to another world. And that all had to fit within our architectural environment. So we looked at very ornate framings, large I don't even remember that seeing half this stuff. That would feel correct and not out of place in something of this nature. We thought about where we could include light sources that would be interesting and would put light in the right areas of the room. The skylight's a really good example. We decided that having this top-down ambience would really bed the scene in nicely and create this nice veneer to it. And then add in another number of interesting light sources that we can use for accents, such as a fireplace, such as the candles. They just are there to give you that extra range of color if you need it. They're there to draw the eye of the player to what we want to show them. It's not my place to interfere, but I might be persuaded to New way. the occasional hint. Here's one for free. It's a strange place. Who, who is this guy? Why is he talking to me? Where I don't am know I? What I don't know what about. I, I guess I didn't accept any of the happening, And now I'm here. And this guy has the appearance of being there to help you, but he seems like such a strange guy and the environment he's in is so different. There's a certain ambiguity to it. And we wanted the player to question whether or not he's on their side or whether or not he's kind of playing his own game with them. The curator is no ordinary person and his repository is no ordinary place. And you'll get the chance to see him again in the rest of the Dark Pictures anthology.
Oh, so we get to see him again in another game. We will meet again. It's inevitable. Go oh, away. Eh? Job. Super. This stuff. We need more collectibles. Oh, we can look at their desk. Desk. We can see the room, eh? Pictures. I think I missed four. Secrets missing too. Man, I like looked at everything I found that was glowy. Try the beginning again. Continue anymore. Oh, it looks like you can select the scene, no? All them scenes, eh? They would have got shot down no matter what, because I think because that radio. By a little bit. Not a very long game, so I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. See how far we get. I've probably only jumped about three or four times, though, I bet. For anybody that missed the beginning, here's here's how it starts in production. Back when the boat was new. And we'll get a couple sweet achievements, eh? Doing other things. Get these guys killed faster. Buster, we better mosey on back to the ship. Whoa. Stop the presses. What? Looks like old Charlie Charming's got a little business to attend to. Can I fight? Hey, give me a quarter. Why? I'm gonna find out my future. Let's have it. What's in store for me, Pop? Hey, what did I ask? Uh, I guess I just want to know about my Those son. are different choices. Will he, uh... Is he gonna grow up alright? Things gonna work out for him? Or maybe I just forgot the choices, I don't know. Bamboo tile. Same one I had last time. Your 
Same fortune. Death. Wait, what? What does that mean? Hey, what does that mean? What the hell, man? Doesn't like his fortune. Hey, bud. Let me get a go at it. Oh yeah? Think you got the stuff? Fine? Sure. Let me know the quarter. Gonna start a tab. I'll give it a whirl. We can get perfect on it. I got hit by one of those last time. Miss that one. <laughs> yeah. Hey, man. I'm the karate master now. Wouldn't you know? Hey, Chuck, we better get back to the ship. We don't want to get stranded. Come on, man. Just let me ask you. I know what you said because the achievement was in the way. Guess I that one I missed last that messed me up for an achievement. Got a big poison symbol on it. I never noticed that before. Biz there, buddy. These men appear to be drunk off their rear ends. Get this one to the medical room. Throw the other in the bridge. And keep him there. Guy had a glass jaw. That's what set it off. It got struck by lightning. That started leaking. Huh. Didn't even realize that last time. It'd be cool if they had a different story the second time you tried to do.
Justin, thank you for liking the stream. You ever played this game? I asked you last week. Done, I guess. Then he got drunk and then he got punched. Docks ill. Doctor sick. We check his pulse. Yes, we can't. Lock him up in there. Door is locked. On the inside, and the doctor was in the closet, dead. Funny how, how everything looks kind of nice and new in this scene, but when you're later in the game, like worn down. Howdy, Charlie. How's your time off? Just get me out of here already. What the hell's going on up there? I heard aircraft and gunfire. Me too. And there was a, a corpse. What? In the sick bay. The plane, wrong. I guess. Let's get out of here. Aircraft and gunfire. Okay, we gotta keep calm. Chris, thank you for liking the stream. Scary psycho crazy soldier. He do I'm doing a horror game too. Finished man of a dan today. I was just redoing a little bit at the beginning. What's up, Hydra? Thank you for liking the stream. Kind of an interesting game. I don't know if it's on Game Pass, but this is the same people that made uh, Until Dawn on the PlayStation. Creepy thing running by. Eh? Man, kelp. For liking the stream. Hey, Charlie, help. Oh my. Fuck no. Yeah, you said bodies it. everywhere. Bar and that song. Bar. How's it going, San Kel?
beat your game, Chris? Or Rooney? God damn. Another stint? Oh, damn it. Buckley. Last time I saw him in the mess hall, he was fit as a fiddle. Poor fucker. I left my friend behind. Bumper to walk faster. So, uh, that's faster. Is it just me, or are you getting a real strange feeling right now? Do I look like a guy who likes to talk about his feelings? Hey, Chuck, you see that kid over there? Feeling all right? The imaginary kids. I'm just going to see if inaction works sometimes or not on that. Probably doesn't make a difference for these guys' story though. Funny if you could survive this part and then the other ones encounter this 80 year old man. Oh, he got stabbed. Probably Charlie that got him though.
You'd think that the upper decks wouldn't be affected as much. Well, I guess it does show the, the hallway here. Justin, thank you for liking the stream. How you doing, Justin? What's your favorite horror movie? made that uh, Until Dawn game super massive thing if going through the beginning here see if there's anything after finishing the story if there's anything I would recognize Oh, they do kind of show off the hallway in the house a bit. Hello. And welcome Hello. to my repository. Welcome to my laboratory, is what he says when you go to the bathroom. I am the curator, the curator of stories, stories of love and hate, greed and beauty, life and death, stories such as this one. I'm here to record the story you choose to tell. You see, this tale is only part written. And the choices you make will complete it and determine whether the lives of those with whom you are interfering continue to flourish or whether they are I had snuffed out two deaths you see Last we game. each make decisions according to our own these moral people coming compass up. and we have to live with those decisions or die by them but you shouldn't fear death it is after all inevitable it is the tax one pays for having lived, and it comes, eventually, to everybody. Still, none of us want for it to come too soon, do we? As in life, the actions you take matter. The choices you make will affect others. I'll be keeping a close eye on your progress. It's not my place to interfere, but I might be persuaded to offer the occasional hint. Here's one for free. There are pictures in this world that can show you some possible futures. If you can find them and study them, they may just help you to make better decisions. Or I don't know if they didn't really help me last time. Result in the outcomes you would prefer. That's all for the moment. 
we'll talk again soon enough. We'll have the opportunity to account for all the actions that you've taken, or whatever mess you've made. Nice looking game, eh? Hope you guys can hear me okay. Oh, realized the mic was way really far back. There's Brab. Alex. Think we got enough? If we run out, we can always call for backup. So, uh, look. I've never been down there before. Down? The water? Diving? Well, maybe you could show me how the pros do it. Are you serious? Uh, yeah. I mean, are you serious you came out here without taking any lessons? Uh, kind of, yeah. I wanted to. I just didn't I didn't have time, you know. I had to work all summer. Oh, fair enough, fair enough. Using like opposite choices. <laughs> Whoa, careful. That dive cam is like super expensive. So bro, be cool. What? Julia and Conrad are, you know, how do I say it? Super fucking loaded. So? So don't sweat the little stuff, man. It's not cool. Don't make me regret letting you tag along. Dude, you know I'm not, like, the best around new people, or whatever. Yeah, but shut up. Brad, you're not on this trip because you're my bro. I mean, you are my brother, but, I mean, like, we're buddies, you know? Um, kinda. We're just out here to fucking hang, cool out, and kick it. What the fuck are you talking about? Let's just kick it and be legends, man. We're gonna All kick right, it and be go. legends? Calvary's almost here. Cool. Sorry, I'm a little snappy. I'm just... Who knew medical school would be stressful, you know? Total shocker. And man, the long distance thing, Julia, it's been rough. It's been like two weeks. Huh? <laughs> yep. Right on cue. What? Conrad doesn't think we have enough beer. Ah, I guess I keep these in an undisclosed location. Yeah. Can I get your input on something? Yeah. Like I never put shoes on the whole time. Kind of a big thing I'm trying to make a decision about. About finishing med school? No, but it's just kind of a big life choice, you know? I don't know what's the right thing to do. Go with your gut. If it's right, you'll know. Relax is what I'd call him. Oh, sorry. Connie, this is Alex. Hey, what's up, man? It's Conrad. <laughs> Watch it, sis. Lady killer, right here. <laughs> Good to finally meet you, Conrad. This is Brad, by the way, my little bro. Hey. Bradley, I feel like I already know you. I've heard so much about you. Yeah, uh, likewise. Hey man, want to crack the cold one with me? Every second. Uh, that's a lot of seconds, cowboy. I mean, I would have gone with Nick. Ah, uh, TBH. I kind of have a thing with uh, seasickness. Brad, Bradley, Ray Bradleberry. There's only one way to get your sea legs, and it comes in a can. I'll throw up. Oh, man. You, you 
you really, really don't want to see me, you know, blowing chunks. <laughs> Suit yourself. You ever do any diving before? Um, no, actually. Never done it before. Water virgin. Nice. Hey, we're gonna pop your cherry together. We're gonna be generous. <laughs> Where's the old crust bucket skipper anyhow? There's the crust bucket skipper. I'd invite you to make yourselves at home, but uh So is everybody on board and ready to go? Treats your customers good, eh? Backup targets in case we don't find anything on the dive cam. Listen, to be honest, I've never heard of this wreck you're looking for. Usually these things are crawling with divers. Yeah. This one's different. I'm just saying, if it gets too late, I know some nice places where you can just take, you know, a nice dive. Brad is so sure it would be here. Yeah, I mean, what are the odds we're really gonna find a needle in a haystack? I'm going to go help Conrad and Julia with the camera. What you got? What you got? Ellen. Feast your eyes on this. Whoa, hey, look at that. What is it? Looks like a bomber. Can you zoom in? Oh, yeah, definitely a B-29. That's good, right? Uh, our kitten's good. Our miniature horse is good. Brad. Hey, I freaking nailed it, bro. Don't I get a little end zone dance? Watch me. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> so, so the B doing pretty good because he didn't get all drunk. During World War II, they built these suckers to cruise at the highest altitude possible while maintaining the ability to carry nuclear warheads. They and were just like so dope. Ah, uh, so dope. Oh my god. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Uh, nerd burst. <laughs> oh please, keep going. Uh. Bliss, we found a plane. Yeah. Yeah, looks like World War II. We are ready to dive. Uh, technically, we should call this in to port authorities as an unreported wreck. Well, technically. Are you sure you don't want to do this the right way? Wait, are you saying we shouldn't dive? The right way. Come on, what is this, kindergarten? I had to bring it up. If we just go down and take a look, who's going to know? Fine. As long as you're quick, and don't touch anything. Oh, I just can't wait to be the first one. Everybody down there. be alive. Can you imagine untouched. I am gonna do some. We just recorded it. Twenty nines. We should be ready to get you guys in the water in a few. I'll set up the tanks. The boys will do the final checks. Take a look at the camera. See if you can find anything useful. Right out. Hey, maybe you should check on your bro. Hey, hey. Almost got the gear good to go. Need an extra hand? Never used it before. I think we're in good shape. Alejandro, thank you for liking the stream. Clue how these things work. Say, you played this game before, man of a damn. Seriously, where does she get off bitching about us? She's making a small fortune on this trip. Yeah, not that small. Rules are rules. I get it. 
Well, what's the big deal if nobody finds out? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. All right, I'm gonna get these rebreathers set up and then we'll go through the final steps together. Cool, just holler at us when you're ready. You know, we have rules out here for a reason. You guys gotta respect that. Uh, yeah, sorry about before. Everybody's just a little... I'm excited. Bavik, thank you for liking the stream. I get it. But there are rules and laws and customs. These rules are all pretty basic stuff. How much experience do you have with these kind of dives? Lots. Enough. That's not an amount. Enough to know the rules. I don't think you do. For all you know, this could be a war grave. Disturbing it would be illegal and immoral. Say nothing. <laughs> you know what? I can't stop you. Just respect the rules down there. Don't do anything stupid that'll get my ass in trouble. It'll be in trouble. Yo, little bro. Howdy. How's it hanging, sport? Man, still oh, can't dragon. I actually found the plane. I honestly wasn't sure we would. Totally. I mean, what were we going on? A wing and a prayer? <laughs> and a little web surfing? Man, I really can't wait to see what you find down there. What's down there? What do you think is down there? Based on the photos you took, I'd say it's a search and rescue plane, which is way cooler. Don't know if there'll be much to find, but still, don't forget the camera. Pics or it didn't happen. Okay, Professor. Any hot tips on what I should be looking for down there? See if you can find anything to help us figure out what their mission was. Well, see you later. Sure. Thanks for checking in. Look through the closet. Sure, Julia left anything on the mainland. Good way to only get trust in his uh, long distance relationship. Look through his stuff. Well, that's like a super in the future. This doesn't look kosher. Hey guys, tanks are ready. Tanks a lot. Okay, so this is the rebreather. Way cooler than a regular scuba setup. It takes all that CO2 that you'd normally just exhale into the water, and instead, it gets totally reused. Then it reduces decompression time on your way out. State of the art. Okay, O2 check done. Whoa, 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 Eager Beaver, you gotta check your O2 first. Good, Jay. I'd like to take you underwater. Hey, 
That's my sis you're talking about. You know it. Oh, hey, guys. <laughs> you Jesus, know it. Why are you so loud? I almost completely forgot. When I was looking at the dive cam, I saw this huge hole in the tail. Kablooey. That's your way into the plane. Oh, nice work, man. Thanks, Conrad. Okay, you little clown fishes. I'm gonna go see what Bliss is up to. You behave, Connie. You're on camera. I'll take the wheel. Let's get a before photo. All right, kids. Good to go. Jessica Hill in the hole, please. Maybe we can fire it up again tonight for our private post dive special. <laughs> Are you going to bring your bang stick? <laughs> that front cabin is going to pop its portholes. Everyone's all grossed out. Oh, he doesn't have the stick. Eaten by a shark. So tight. Brandon, thank you for liking the stream. Hey, a souvenir would be cool. Not like one tiny little thing would hurt anybody. I won't tell if you won't. <laughs> Not like we can scan the wreck every night at sundown. There. That's it. That's gotta be it. Whoa. William, thank you for liking the stream. Do you have a favorite horror movie? Where all the trouble begins. Howdy, Captain. You fancy a pint with your second in command? You are not my second in command, third in command. No, fresh into your cabin, boy. Still in friend zone. Your well paying, dashingly handsome, seafaring client is requesting the pleasure of your company over a frosty amber liquid. Pass. Pass. I have to stay focused on your friends down there. Pretty nice ride you got here. Where'd you get the cash? You know it's not polite to ask a lady about her money. Jason, you know? oh, you're a Friday the Thirteenth. about buying a boat myself, and I thought. Fan, are you? Like What's right your direction? favorite movie of those ones? Sorry, I have got enough on my plate for the moment. Uh, you know what? I better spend some time keeping the Duke of Milan ship shape. Aye, aye. Go turn that uh, knob on that little TV. That'll help. Weather looks clear. Mm. I'll have to keep an eye on those clouds. Uh-oh. It's getting mighty crowded out here. Hello again, little blip. What you doing all the way out here? Duke of Milan, 20 miles north of the coast, over. Reading you. How can we help? Over. Inquiring about guidelines regarding an unidentified sunken wreck in this vicinity, over. Any tampering with a wreck, identified or not, will result in prison or fine or both. Over. <laughs> prison Roger or fine or both. Over.
My clients are overprivileged. We'll have a full report when we return to shore. Over. Reminding you that you are not to <laughs> Javon, thank you for liking the stream. Lions are overprivileged. I should have picked that one. Can blame the pirates. And people How am I doing today? I'm good, thank you. How are you? I managed to finish the game. I was checking out to see if there's different things I might have missed. Brandon, thank you for the follow. Good day to you. Which Friday the 13th was your favorite? Is this they have a big feature at the end of this? Um, well, it's in the extra features. You can like see the history of horror anthologies. Cool that way. They have a new game coming out right away, too. Hey there. How's it hanging? You look like you're taking full advantage of your relaxation time. I'm a man of many talents. So are you beached? Like a whale? Hey, I just thought, why spend all my time down in the dark when I already like what I see up top? Ooh, he's slick. I have to keep track of the dive, but I'd be happy to continue this conversation later when I can give you my full attention. In private? Private? Just, just chatting it up, you and I, in the old conversational intercourse. <laughs> what a creep. Hey, man! Flirted with Fliss. Well, hello there, Captain. Can I do something for you? I can think of a few things. Oh, do tell. Mm, maybe later, if you stay on my good side. Better to look at here. I'm just trying some alternate choices, you know? Probably two achievements so far. There's the blip. What's that about? Kind of jumped uh, there on the editing. Fishing boat, from the looks of it. How should we handle this? This feels off. Just be quiet and don't say anything stupid, okay? Wanna hit the boy? Hey, get out of here! What do you think you're doing? Hey, we got damage here, you see this? Look at <laughs> that didn't work. We can take care of this man, it's not a problem. What do you think? Like, uh, ten bucks cover it? Oh, whoops, my bad. Let's make it twenty. Well, shoot, you, you think it's more like thirty? I can do thirty. All right, you guys drive a hard bargain, but I'm with you. Here, let's just throw in the whole pot. Take a fishing net, grab it all, pay for that boat. You played this game, William? 
Pretty cool. Not very long though. Probably like four hours or something. Get everything. Conrad said one of the pictures showed an opening. The turret. We can get in through there. Someone's got cut. Whoa, careful. Could be dangerous. Jordan, thank you for the follow. Good day to you. Can I just take a second to say, holy shit, Alex, we did it. I mean, can you believe it? It's a dream come true. <laughs> Let's not waste any time not exploring. Go, go, go. Julia, leave it. You'd have to take your gear off to get in there. Not worth it. That pipe's pretty tight. What if you get stuck without your rebreather? And you drown. Maybe it is kind of dangerous. Watch your streams at night when you're at work? Oh, when you're not working? Oh, that's nice of you. Fuck it. I'm just gonna go for it. Oh, I guess we're going for it. Oh, thank you for watching, William. I'd never do this in a million years. Of course, I probably wouldn't dive even. I don't know how to dive. An octopus. I wish she would have drowned if I would have pressed X on time. You do something stupid down here, that's it. One chance, you get that. I know what I'm doing, okay? I don't need a lifeguard. Well, you might need a lifeguard. The evidence. Oh, help out a ship. Check it out. They reconfigured the bomb rack to hold lifeboats. Interesting. Brad told me that sometimes they would take a bomber and turn it into a search and rescue plane. One of the rescue boats is missing. Think they were using it? Let's see what else we can find. Good God. I don't know why she needed to turn him around exactly. Awesome streams. Well, thank you so much. It's very kind to you. Wow. Is there the certain here? games you like watching more what than the others? Goners. They knew they were goners. that let's check it out want to go first uh, 
Okay, nice. Oh, <laughs> okay. I saw that before. Pilot and co pilot. Gotta be. Plane crash not high on my list of ways to perish. Oh, you watch most of them? Oh, okay. Taking the selfies here everywhere. Easy now. This stuff's been down here a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotta play with the steering wheel. Oh, Julia! Oh my god! Just don't touch anything else, please! I like the plane is going anywhere anyway. He's holding something. Yeah, this guy has a little pocket watch too. That was common back then. We gotta get out of here now. <gasps> He's got his hand eaten. It's a gray weed shark. Not interested in us. It's probably interested in that paper, though. Hold on. Uh, oh, okay. Thought this was the right time, but then didn't know if it was the right time. But I guess no time. The right time? I, I, I don't. I guess. Oh. I that? Think you can't tell because we're underwater, but I'm on my knees right now. Uh huh. Julia, will you marry me? They've been dating two weeks. Julia, I'm serious. We'll say yes. Wow. What a goddamn story. <laughs> this is insanely out of the world. I would not do that at all. Yes, yes, I'll marry the shit out of you. <laughs> There's underwater loving. All right, handsome hero. You want to get on with our escape from the uh, crumbling death trap? That's new because I didn't get that option what? last time. This is Julia. Achievement! Over. Hey, where'd that other boat come from? Yeah. Wait, Julia. We gotta decompress here. There's explosions. What? what the fuck? We gotta get up there. Wait, we have to decompress. My sorry, brother's up sorry, there. My brother's up there. Julia, this is crazy. You just gotta wait a few seconds. <sighs> Fuck it, I'm going. This is gonna have the cramps. Love the barbecue. There was a little uh mishap with the barbecue. Jesus, looked like the whole like having a barbecue with the fishermen. What was up with that other boat? These fishing guys came by and ran into the dive line. Whatever. Who cares, right? What I want to know is what you guys find. Well, we found the plane, and it is huge. Full of cool stuff. Oh my god, you guys, can you all just shut up for like one second? Holy shit! Dude, bro, congrats! Nicely done. Come up and let's celebrate.
I guess the uh, not decompressing any difference. <laughs> You're getting to know these intrepid adventurers then. Anybody's wondering, this is man of a dam. to swim with the big fish. Made by super massive. Out game I bought a long head. time ago. They have a new game coming out soon to this and anthology. Judith, the love of Alex's life. And he the love of hers. Kind of like what heavy rain. Conrad, a bold fellow, you might say. Or maybe you'd say arrogant. Or those kind of games. And then there's Captain Fliss. These guys Strong, made uh, Until Dawn, man. which was a really good game. I really Stubborn. enjoyed it. Do I detect a spark between her and Conrad? Let me reassure you. Oh, his speech is a little bit different this time. Make some decisions they value later on. And some I think they may regret. They didn't give me any hint choices. So we're like 10 seconds out of the jaws of certain death. Well, certain, I mean, that's relative. And this meatball. Meatball? This meatball pulls a ring out of God knows where. Yeah, where did you hide the ring? A lady never tells. So needless to say, this lady was impressed. <laughs> well played there, man, no? Wasn't Comrade going to get us some more beers after he helped Fliss? Maybe he decided, hey, I'll drink some. And then he got drunk. And since he was drunk, he forgot to bring it to us. And he just kept on drinking, and he drank all of it. Uh, sounds like you've had some experience with this kind of phenomenon. Yeah, I've been studying it for years. I'll go look for him. I didn't even want beers earlier. So, how does it feel? There's a lot of great games out there. That's yeah. Smith. That's there's a lot of good products, eh? Honestly, I wasn't sure how it would feel, but now that I hear it, it does have a nice ring. So. I guess we should talk about wedding plans, eventually. Now you're speaking my language. Been taking lessons. Yeah, I can't wait for us to plan everything together. I was so worried you might say no. Of course I was going to say yes, you dimwit. I'm happy you did. Got the so romantic yes, speech calling him a dimwit. Whole future rolling out ahead of us. I love you, Alex. We'll go the romantic route. Where did everyone go? There was much celebration to be had. I'll go find them. You just relax. Hey, you seen my brother? Or Fliss? And we only uh, walked five no feet. Way. Got. Distracted. Fine on you. Sure. <laughs> Getting down. Say nothing. <sighs> so sorry to interrupt your seven seconds in heaven. Oh, yeah, the beers. I was just getting them now. Didn't want to interrupt them, you know. And one dude there is kind of right. the fifth now wheel, eh? Here. Let's take a look at the navigator's pad we found. Maybe we can figure out why the plane was out here. Where'd you put it? It's in your case. Okay, I'll go get it. Hey. So, how do you feel to be a man close to proposal? Believe me, I'm a kid. I've been carrying that around for a while. It's an awesome stream. Thank you so much. Why are you doing on the dime? I wanted it to be memorable. Here we can look at the pictures on it. Dan. Looks like we're the settling site. 
See some creepy face on here, eh? Seems a little too dangerous for my blood. Don't sweat it. I'll go down with you and we'll be fine. Uh, I'm gonna go find Julia. Oh, I took too long, I guess. Hey, almost time for barbecuing. Got the pad yet? Sorry, I got distracted. No worries. Let's go get it. Got it. Let's go up. Come here, you vixen. Easy, Tiger. Everybody's kind of feisty on this cruise ship. Like the love Tiger. boat. Hey, hello there, sailor. Um, excuse me? Careful. If you did decompress too fast, then you should go easy on the beer. Uh, Alex, I'm fine. I think if I got the bends, I would know by now. Not always. Sometimes the bends can be super delayed. It could be hours or a day or two. The bends? Yeah, it's uh, when you come up from a dive too fast. Oh, oh, oh yeah, uh, uh, decompression sickness. <laughs> Nerd. Little nitrogen bubbles that get stuck in your bloodstream. It hurts like a bitch. It's really serious. Divers get sick and die from decompression sickness every year. And that is why the good Dr. Conrad says drink them if you got them, because either you're fine or you're going to want a little something to ease the pain. Julia, I'm telling you not to drink any alcohol right now. Oh, come on. Telling you? Big bossy already, eh? From this guy, just drink a beer. Beer o'clock. All right, everyone. You'll Take feel it, it later. Manchurian gold. Who wants to find some sunken treasure? So what do you think, Captain? Coordinates? Those are coordinates, all right. Maybe the plane's destination? You think we could get there by tomorrow? It takes a couple hours if the weather stays steady. Wow. Do you find anything else? First, I found this flight plan in a tube, and I had to get it out. And it said that this was a rescue plane from some U.S. base near here. And the whole thing was full of life rafts, you know? But one of them was missing, which was kind of weird. After the war, they refitted long-range bombers to be rescue planes. Very resourceful. Reckless, all of you. Excuse me? I told you to leave everything down there alone. Oh, come on. We've been through this already. I'm not talking about the law. No, hey. They were respectful. No, you did whatever you wanted. Whatever you took, it was too much. Come on. No one knows we've even been down there. And I don't think ghosts can radio it in. You Americans are all the same, huh? No respect for anyone else's traditions. You should have never gone down to that plane in the first place. It's bad luck. You think you can scavenge down there and it makes no difference, but every single thing you bring back has an essence. It's like a ghost you invite to the surface. Here we go. Huh. I never thought about it like that. You never think about much of anything. Well, maybe I never heard about such cool ghost stories. They're before. not cool ghost stories. Not like for fun. People drown in these waters and you have to respect their resting place. Damn straight. Fred, you got a fun ghost story, right? Y yeah, I heard a story. Uh, happened right around here, too. Let's hear it. We could all use a good show. I don't know if Brad is really the scary type, you know? Well, don't get too confident. This is a pretty scary story. <laughs> Scare away, little bro. Okay, here goes. This story is true. It had happened right near here, in an old lighthouse. Classic setup. Wait, true story? Where'd you hear this? If you need to know, it's ripped right from the rotting pages of the terrifying ancient in-flight magazine I was perusing on our way here. The lighthouse stood atop an atoll, isolated from the rest of the world, a lone beacon in the night, a sailor's respite. The lighthouse keeper would hear the waves pounding the rocky shore. One misty morning, he comes upon a woman covered in blood, 
She's stumbling down the beach. Probably not a good woman to hang out with. She falls into his arms, sobbing. As he hurries her back to the lighthouse, he asks where she's from. He doesn't waste any time. Smooth. He of the one-track mind. The woman answers. I live here, in the lighthouse. My parents are upstairs right now. Twist. Of course, the lighthouse keeper says, that isn't so. Of course, he's lived there alone for years. And the woman becomes hysterical, and his sister parents are upstairs. So, they go to the top of the lighthouse, and there, splayed out on the floor, is a man and a woman brutally murdered with an axe. Always an axe. I mean, do people even use axes anymore? Okay, fine. Then it was a meat hook. They were slashed with a meat hook and hung from the rafters. Wait a minute. Are you changing the murder weapon? I thought this was a true story. There's a lot of blood. A lot of carnage. Who's to say how it was done? Okay, so who did it? So the woman, she's still hysterical, says her husband did it. And he's still here. In the closet. Huh. Been hanging in the closet for <laughs> years. So is this a warning to all future brides? Hey, no backseats. You're locked in. So the lighthouse keeper creeps over to the closet, opens the door, and sure enough, there's a man inside. But he sliced out his own insides with a meat hook. Horrified, he looks closer to see the dead man's face in the dark. Closer. Closer. And he sees... It's his own face. And then its eyes bulge out and screams. <laughs> yeah, so ah, gross. Horrible. Hey, oh, super twist. Nice. <laughs> nice one, Squire. Oh, come on. That wasn't scary. Heavy on the cheese there, corn dog. Okay, you've all had your fun. We should all turn in. There's some weather hitting our way. Uh-uh. No, no, no. No, because according to standard vessel regulation, we're all required one more beer before hitting the hay. What regulations are these? <laughs> uh, it's standard issue regulatory institutional protocol subdivision 1090. I like uh, his beer. <laughs> Where'd you read that? The internet. Oh, so you found a website that tells you to drink beer under every circumstance. I'm just following orders, man. <laughs> I'm into this website. <laughs> Head forward, buddy. And I'm out. You know, if they would have scooted their boat away, they probably would have been safe. Drove somewhere. Ah, crap. Missed the Y. Yeah, there's beer nearby. Man, the Indrum.
ungag everybody. Took some hair with it. It's interesting. Yeah, it's kind of a cool game how they do it. It's okay. You okay? I think so. There's also, if uh, in my videos, I have the first full half of this game because it's actually a second playthrough. And I finished the beginning of this stream. Although, you're duct taped like that, you're supposed to be able to just do a certain reefing. Hey, so, uh, good news, bad news. Bad news? I don't see how this could get any worse. The bad news is these are kind of maybe the fishermen I pissed off earlier. Oh, God damn it, Conrad. Great, just great. And the good news? Uh, I recognize them. How was that good news? I thought you were going to ask the good news first. You're such an idiot, Jesus. What are they going to do to us? I don't even want to know. I want to get out of here. We're in a lot of danger. Guys, we got to get untied. Right now. <laughs> oh, shit. That's not good. Come on. Back for you later. Kick them. Nobody knows you're out here, little lady. You're all alone with us now. Let's make the most of it. You can go fuck yourself, you piece of shit. You're the little lady. I didn't like that. Oh, yeah. You know how to treat a lady, right? That's going to look like he was in a hockey fight. part of his ear. Get the other guy hiding. Oh, Jesus, Conrad. He didn't need that part of his ear anyway. Hit her. They have an influence. It's 
but sure seems to be getting buddy buddy with him. Uh, did you see my brother? Yeah. He's hiding. He's okay. All right. Turn around. Hiding underneath. Don't let them see your hands. Once we get Julia back, maybe we could take him by surprise. Okay. They're coming. Got that ring and got stolen. That's just continuity, probably, in case he didn't accept it earlier, I guess. Now we just have to wait and see what they want to do with us. Read this before. Messed up. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hey, what the hell are you thinking? What the hell, guys? Conrad, just get to the boat. Oh, I just made it. Demon! Bring them downstairs. Dig this. Use it if you have to. And I got one survivor at least.
His goal is, was to get there. Which one of you is going to tell me about this Manchurian? Although I'm not sure you'd know how to get back. Like that. Freddy, thank you for liking the stream. Oh crap! <laughs> Guess that's it. That's it for now. Crashed the game. That was so good. Oh well, I gotta work tomorrow anyway, so I guess uh, we'll call her a stream. If you haven't followed yet, please do so. It'd be appreciated. You could still like and share, uh, even if you're watching the video afterwards. Uh, it helps a lot in getting the word out. Uh, Facebook, uh, you know, still put plays the videos uh, throughout their site afterwards. Um, if you haven't. Also, under the um, video description, you'll see the uh, YouTube and the, uh, and then of course, the uh, Twitter and stuff like that, if you want to check those out. I made a clip of uh, this game, actually, on the YouTube from last week, and I'll put one this weekend on there as well. Um, yeah, it's kind of a cool game. It's neat how you can do different paths, eh? And uh anyway, if um I if you check back with me every day I stream at 7 p.m. Pacific time and uh and it's different games every day. So uh feel free to check back in and see what I'm doing and uh and of course you're always welcome and, and hopefully we do see you guys again and thank you for watching in whatever capacity did. Thank you, William, for being here and Colleen. And everybody else that was uh, that was here at any point throughout the night. But uh, I hope all of you have a good night, and uh, and um, feel free to stop by that YouTube channel and and see what video, what part of this video gets clipped. Um, I imagine it'll be Saturday when I post that because that's usually when I have a little more time to make the clips. We'll uh, end it right now, and uh, we'll hopefully see you again tomorrow. And we'll host somebody here, so you can always check out Jay the Jedi if you like. And uh, we'll see you soon. Story crashed by the way, but I'll go sometimes with these butery kind of things. <laughs>